Alright guys, welcome to another uh, Wolfpack tutorial, and this is covering IQT2, or the Initial Qualification Training uh, number 2, which is a IMC flight uh, in, in bad weather conditions. Um, I'm doing it in daytime here just for demonstration purposes, but uh, when you do it, you'll be doing it at night. Uh, right now you can see it's pretty miserable, it's raining, and you know again, BMS has some of the nicest rain effects. You can see the rain drizzling off the roof there, and uh, the instructor here is you know, wondering, are we actually going to fly in this? And the student looks pretty scared right now. But yeah, uh, we are going to fly in it, and we're going to teach you how. So first things first, I'm already in line, I'm just kind of sitting here. Uh, no lights on the panel, everything's ready to go. And <clears throat> you'll notice the altimeter, uh, it starts off at 299 or 2, 299 or 1, and that's the standard day, okay, that's standard pressure for standard day, um, and we'll set that to field elevation, which is about 10 feet above sea level at Kunsan. You can see that we have a low pressure system, uh, that's what that means, it's a low pressure system, typically associated with uh, rainy, rainy days. Um, interesting thing about days like this is the air is pretty stable, that's why you get these flat, uh, kind of linear clouds. Uh, important note, we want to make sure we have lights on um, when it's in conditions like this, obviously, so people uh, can see you because of the reduced visibility. And I'll go ahead and lower the canopy here. Okay, I already loaded my data cartridge. And even though we have a flight plan here, we're going up to uh, Kempo, by the way. Uh, that's the destination. Uh, and I also highly recommend you get Harpoon's pilot leg mods. Um, these are not the default charts with the map and the, um, this chart here. But um, I, if you look at my other videos, I can show you how you can do that or on the BMS forums. Uh, so we're going up to Kempo, and it's pretty, pretty high definition uh, for BMS uh, map here. There's Kempo, and there's 83 X-ray, if you can see that. That's the TACAN channel. And then we have some uh, ILS frequencies, 109.9 for 14 left. Uh, I'm, I'm anticipating we're going to use. Um, the winds right now are actually coming from 030 uh, at about 4 knots, and I'm not sure if the clouds in BMS follow the winds, but it seems like they are because they're traveling in the right direction. You can see those ominous, just uh, really dark uh, stratus clouds. Okay, so just click 1 on the upfront controller, and first thing we want to do is uh, hit 83 and that's the TAC can again on the right leg here you can see it uh, even more clearly uh, for Kimpo 83 x-ray and then 109.9 for 14 left okay um, so what we'll do is just hit enter here and by pressing 0 you can change that it's the band between Yankee and x-ray so uh, and you also want to make sure the TAC can is not in air-to-air -air mode but in and transmit and receive. Uh, air to air is strictly for uh, tanker operation, so you can track the tank tanker on on the tack and it's emitting. And then the last thing, uh, right in that block, you want to go one zero nine nine zero and then hit enter, and that'll put that frequency here. And then I know we're using uh, runway one four, so uh, that's heading one four zero. It might be something else, like for instance, Kunsan, Even though it's runway three six, it's three five six. That's considered the magnetic heading of the runway. And those things do change depending on on the Earth's rotation um, over the years. So a that's why a runway might go from the three six to three five in five years or something like that. Um, you don't need to know all that, but just estimate one four zero for runway fourteen, and you hit enter, and we're done with that. Um, so th what that enables us to do is, even though we have waypoints, if we lose those waypoints, we still have an ability to, to track the runway. Um, and I'll switch this over to tack hand mode, and right now this flag means that we're not receiving, and I'm going to switch the course uh, to 140, which will be the heading of uh, our landing runway when we get to Kempo. Alright, so we're ready for taxi. I'm going to throw on the nose wheel steering, take off the brake, and I need to call tower here. And request the tracks be removed. Alright, 
So I'll just demonstrate a takeoff. Problem. We'll taxi out to the end of the runway here. And these these rain effects are just really incredible and immersive. Okay, I'll turn off the radio so tower doesn't bother us too much. So again, this is the second flight, qualification flight, if you're here at the Wolf Pack for BMS. And um, it's done at night time, so it'll be a little more scary. Uh, it's important to do this. I always tell my guys, if you are, you know, you could be an ace pilot and get five mig kills and, and pull, you know, blow up a nuclear power plant and, and be just the best bomber and the best pilot. But if you, if you can't bring the aircraft back in one piece, uh, what good is that? Because you end up losing an airframe. You, don't, you only have so many for the campaign. So we lost an airframe. You know, if you can't get back in a situation like this, if I can't get back in, in bad weather conditions, doesn't matter how well we did on the mission because now that F-16 is completely ineffective. Uh, so all these skills matter. This lesson builds on what you've been learning, the ramp start, uh, takeoff, uh, landings, crosswind landings in case you encounter a crosswind. All those skills are cumulative and, uh, and it counts. Uh, so there's three phases of you know flying and fighting in Falcon. Uh, the first part is just learning how to basically start up the aircraft, takeoffs and landings, uh, things like that. Uh, and then you have to learn basic weapon implementation. So just how to employ Maverick, how to employ laser guided bomb when the bullets aren't flying. And then the last part is to, once you're proficient in those and you become a, just a basic, uh, you know, mission ready pilot or fighter weapon patched pilot, then you can uh, implement some tactics. So we'll go ahead and take off and those were steering off and nothing really different from this. We'll do an afterburn takeoff here. ceiling I think is something like ooh, really nasty cross one here. Gear up. It looks always a 300 out at a burner and I think the ceiling's about a thousand feet so we're gonna be in the soup in a little bit here. Alright. There's a thousand foot ceiling. So when you're up there, you're not going to, you know, be able to see the ground or anything. And it'll be dark, um, and then uh, you'll land at Kempo. So part two, uh, we'll show the uh, the landing approach. And again, it's daytime, just so you can see what's going on here. I'll see you guys in the next video.